I'm not the saying that. I've told you. I had an in. He said it here first. Arsenal for the Premier League next season. That you heard it exclusive. Yeah, definitely. If if no title, then he's not staying. Do you know what the joke of it is? I could see him getting fourth, but then half come Christmas, we'll get a, it'll be too big for him, and then he'll get a manager because like he's, he's one of the ones where do a Chelsea. I, but, You've got but, us man, there. If he's not man, big enough, if he's not good enough um, to get us to the next level, then he shouldn't be there. But let it, let him get it for give us a chance to get us to that next level anyway. Spartans, what is your profession? <laughs> Yes, people, another edition of Nights and Roundtable discussions where we discuss all sports all the time. Got my guys, the truth, and Mr. KA with me. How are we doing, people? We're going to man. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're smiling. Oh, well, you lot should be smiling, bro. We didn't even play and everything's fallen into you lot's laps. Like, <laughs> so you lot, you lot have every right to have a grin on your, grin on your face. Unlike us, like ST and I that are literally... Bro, nah, it's bro, you guys got nothing to worry. You got nothing to worry about. You may be a roller coaster ride, but you got nothing to worry about, man. Listen, listen, yeah. it's just another episode of keeping up with the Kardashians, <laughs> bro. At Old Trafford, like leaks after leaks, like to say, bro, that they need a plumber in OT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking, bro. We got everything to worry about, bro. Arsenal are uh, going for top three, bro. Yeah, let's, 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 we might do a Tottenham, so, you know, three games in hand and end up worse than exactly. we was before, it, so. Games in hand, games in hand, mean, look, it's back in, it's back in the 2000, remember 2018, 19 season when no one wanted top four? Yeah. Which is, everyone's like, no, you have it, no, you have it, no, you have it, and then at the, all it came down to was just Chelsea saying, yep, let's just win one game, <laughs> and they won that one game and they qualified, so now it's come back down to that, man. We're going to see what happens. But yeah, people, of course, you know what it is. 40 Chat is back. We're going to be delving in again into everything that's gone on in the past week, obviously. Like, it's been uh, people before, before I start, actually, you know, apologies. Um, fight talk didn't happen. Uh, Tooth has been swamped with work. So I've watched that happen. Um, boxing talk didn't happen either. Um, ST. Nah, we need, we need it, boxing talk for a thing, though, this weekend. Well, it was supposed to happen, but ST was having bro, that vagine internet, bro. Like, he only, he only got it sorted today. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. So, boxing talk didn't happen, people. Don't worry. Boxing, the, yeah. re, the review will happen next week. Trust you me. You know how annoying it is you guys getting your internet fixed because you have to flip in call, yeah, then you get, um, what do you call it? You're calling, then you're hearing that flipping line to Accra and you're thinking, rah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, people, don't worry. You will be getting your boxing talk. Fight talk will be back for 272 <laughs> and Katie, all that. Katie Katie's not impressed, you, you know. Katie knows what I'm talking about because you pick up the phone and it starts, uh, you start um, hearing, what is it, three? Just man, don't worry, man. <laughs> Let's not talk about what, that, that Tobago phone line, bro. Let's not, let's not <laughs> so, let's, let's oh, man. Um, <laughs> people. You know what it is. Oh, but Kay, obviously you're you're the romantic one of the group, bruv. How was your Valentine's, bro? What do you mean, uh, bruv? You're a romantic, fam. Bruv, how was Valentine's, bro? Valentine was was Monday, bro. That's <laughs> just say it's Monday, bro. bro. bro, bro, bro it's it love, Monday, bro. They say it's Love Week, so I'm asking you, bro. You're the romantic <laughs> one, bro. Bro, you guys, I'm the African one of the group, bro. You're about a romantic <laughs> one, you know. <laughs> Well, rice, there's rice at home, bro. Well, she was cooking cooking for you, yeah. That was her Valentine's Day. No, in fact, sure, she, she, Mrs. was at was at work still, so oh, I was sorry, the one so, in the kitchen. So what you say is rose petals and you run the bath, yeah? Nah, bro. Fam, this guy talking like we don't know you. Remember last Valentine's Day, man did like some five course meal and some um cooking cooking in just his arm um, apron and that. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> and I showed you guys, yeah. <laughs> Man was cooking it. And, sh- and I showed you guys, yeah. All right, cool. That, that's believable. <laughs> Man, them look. I'm just in my my apron <laughs> cooking. Hey, hey, you're 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 comfortable, fam. You're married, so what? Uh, <laughs> um, back to regular viewing people. So yeah, 
put in chat. You know, this is what we're here for. But as <laughs> usual, before we start, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Get them likes up, get them subscriptions up, and all that good stuff. And I say all the time, share, share, share. We are here, and don't forget to join our social media pages as well. Links are in the description. So Valentine's um, Day for you guys. <laughs> what Batman don't do Valentine's you guys Day. Are all, you guys are all living with partners and misses. And nah, bro. Nah, bro. Well, Batman bro. don't do pa- Valentine's, in it? Like, I don't do that, bro. Bro, bro. Ask, bro. Ask the truth, bro. I know you put, yeah. that, put, I know you put on that Beanie Man ramping shop and you're doing... <laughs> Doing all your... <laughs> so. Hey, 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 you know, you, you know, Gaza Valentine Day is different, different than, <laughs> than them. <laughs> they do some different Valentine's Day. Listen, fans. listen. Gun like, shots. This, that, <laughs> that true, when it comes to that, that time, it's gun... <laughs> But that pasta, hey. pasta, like just <laughs> climbing trees and... Hey, none of that. <laughs> but listen, people listen. people, make sure you put in the comments how disrespectful Mr. K is being to Jamaicans, yeah? Make sure you make sure you light him up in the comment section, yeah? Make sure <laughs> yeah. you can do that. So, lighter, <laughs> lighter. That's exactly what's going on, bro. <laughs> um, but, yeah, WWE, um, like... <laughs> this guy. This guy. Um, but, yeah. Um, let's start off talking about the title race. Um... Liverpool got their players back from the AFCON, obviously. Mr. K and ST, ST um, spoke about that last week, um, celebrating um, Mane's win. Back to the Premier League. Um, currently, Man City are nine points clear at the top of the league. Um, Liverpool, I believe, have a game in hand. Um, so it could be down to um, six points. Before we talk... Yeah, if they if Liverpool win their game in hand, it goes down to six points. Oh yeah, because our uh, Man City drew against Southampton. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before we we talk about those two protagonists, it's Mr. K. If I come to you first, because I think the last time we spoke about Chelsea with you here, um, you were still backing them to win the league. Um, unfortunately, they've Wasn't gone. On, yeah. Shame. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they've gone on a dip of form. Or currently, well, currently back now from winning the club World Cup. But for you, are Chelsea now out of the title race? Is it now done for them? All they can do is solidify third place. Yeah, pretty much. I think the gap's too big now for um, it's it's too big for Chelsea to close down. It's even uh, like, it's thirteen points, big. thirteen point gap. No, looking at it right now, Chelsea have got two a game in hand on, and Liverpool got a game in hand on City. Yeah, mm. what's, the, what's the point difference? And then the point difference is it was more than thirteen. It's, I think it's um sixteen. Whoa. It looks like between Man City and uh, Chelsea. Mm. Man City are on sixty three, Chelsea are on forty seven. Oh. Mm. So I don't. know, I think the gap might be a bit too big. <laughs> Um, Chelsea's game in hand is Arsenal, so it's not an easy game in hand. Um, not saying that we are the best team in the world, but it's not the easiest. Mm. Um, so I don't know. I find it difficult. It's going to be a tricky for Liverpool to close it down. So I don't really see Chelsea doing it, to be honest. Mm. And um, they're going to they're coming into a decent um, run of fixtures. Like it's going to be changing soon for them, but I don't think that I don't think it'll be enough. No. Fair enough, fair enough. I, I, I don't think so. I, I think Chelsea are completely out of it. Um, <clears throat> that's too big. They've dropped too many points. And obviously them still being in the Champions League and the FA Cup and they've got the League Cup final to look forward to as well. I just think too many competitions, um, not enough bodies for them and not consistent enough to try and uh, make a challenge for the league. I think they should focus on the Cups, yeah. Mm, no, 100%. Um, truth. Saying that now, uh, conversation that took place before uh, Liverpool lost their players to the AFCON, we did say if Liverpool were there or thereabouts um, in the title race, that it could tip the balance a little bit. As I said, nine points is the gap. If they win, it's only six. Um, for you... Hmm? And I've gone. For you... 
can Liverpool mount that challenge? Can they overcome that those amount of points over City? Or is even a nine-point gap with a game in hand if they win it is six points? So just say, say based on the form that Liverpool are on right now, because they've lost one in ten in the Premier League. Can Liverpool even overcome a six-point gap over Man City and try and win it? We'd have to judge it in um in I think it's three weeks' time when they go play each other. That is going to be a huge, huge game. If it's because Liverpool play their game in hand next week, yeah. um, it is against Norwich, so it should be a foregone conclusion. But if it's not, <clears throat> then I think. They, they have to get six points behind before they go into the game against City. And then it's all going to come down to that game. Because if Liverpool can get the win, it is game on. Because one thing I don't... One thing I don't know if City can still do well is handle pressure. Because we know they like being good front runners, being out comfortable. But as soon as that pressure is on, we see um, how these players are. It's been They've been comfortable because... There hasn't really been a title race. Mm. Like for me, there hasn't been the city have just kept on winning, going about their business, not doing anything. Um, while other teams have been dropping points. Um, Liverpool had a bad December, but they're in the mode where mm. I say the most important thing is just winning games. Like forget about performance. We saw the Burnley game, they got through the game, even though they were second best. I thought Burnley were the better side. It's all about picking up points and it's going to be the team that can do that the most consistently. I think Liverpool, if they can galvanise themselves, have the attitude, Diaz is a real, real good signing for them. I know he hasn't scored yet, but his performances have been promising. Hopefully he gets on the score sheet soon. Because to be honest, I do want a title race. Mm. I do want a title race. I don't, want, I don't want the most exciting thing just to be the top four because I, I even think the relegation, relegation battle is going to be over pretty, pretty soon if Newcastle keep winning. Um, so yeah, I do want a title race. And I'll tell you what, the title race between City and Liverpool two, three years ago was one of the most exciting um, races that we saw. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you will have to judge it after that game. I think we can't judge it right now, but that game is going to be massive for where the title is going to go. I think if Liverpool can close it to three, I will put them as favourites just because I think Pep needs needs to win that Champions League like he's he's more hungry than that Champions League than, than Messi was that or winning that international title he wants that Champions League more than anything because to me if he doesn't win the Champions League he has failed at Man City I don't care how many titles he wins no I hear that <clears throat> um, he's still got to try and win it like I said he failed he failed with Bayern Munich um, didn't get it with Bayern. Um, obviously, won it with Barca. If he doesn't get it with Man City, <sighs> big questions. It's big questions to be asked about Pep. But um, oh. it's KA. <sighs> City are a juggernaut, right? They've won 14 out of their last 15 games. The only um, points dropped was to draw against um, Southampton. But Liverpool have been doing just the same. As I said, they've only lost one in the last 10 fixtures. They've got the two top goal scorers in um, Salah and Jota. I think they've got the top three assists as well. I think it's Trent. Is it, huh? is it, is it not Trent? Uh, Trent, um, Salah Robertson. and uh, Robertson, I do believe. I think it's those three. Or if it's not those three, if those three are one, two and three, then they're one, yeah. two and four. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Mr. K, if, if those players can continue to score the goals that they are, surely with City having no centre forward, albeit that throughout the whole season, surely at some point that's got to make, uh, make them become unstuck. And do you believe if that happens, that Liverpool can overtake and then go on to win the league with the players that they have? To answer your question, I don't think um, it, the city will become un, become stuck with the centre forwards. I think they've uh, figured out how to play with without a number nine, even though they are not dominating games how we've seen in previous years every week in week out. They are still 
going into games thinking they can beat anyone with whatever lineup they have, and um, it's a reasonable thought or belief of theirs. So I don't think City. I think they can only beat themselves, really. I don't think that they can do anything that can um, sort of like really open a door for Liverpool. Liverpool just have to keep doing what they're doing, beat whoever's in front of them. It's not going to be easy because they've got potential banana pills coming up in the next few games as well. With, even though Man United are not playing well, they're going to be up for it. It's going to be a big game, North East derby, um, and obviously the history behind it. And also we saw Brighton yesterday, again against Man United, but they can play football. Graham Potter is a, is a great manager at the moment. He's showing that he's got the prospects of, to maybe even manage a big team one day. So he's got them playing and that won't be an easy game for Liverpool. So it's not a foregone conclusion. The title race is not over, but it's more pressures on Liverpool. Mm. Um, City just, um, even if, I think they could even lose like, one game and they'll be okay. Mm. No, no, no. I, I can I can agree with that because I think the one thing that's that City have proven is, which everyone else can't do. Don't get me wrong, Liverpool are in fantastic form right now, yeah. but City can just go out of nowhere, just go and win five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the bounce and not care, and absolutely not care. And I think that is where this title race is going to be won and lost. Obviously, I know the truth said. I think the big game, obviously, between them two, if it, if, it, if the gap is six points, it's a massive yeah. game for both teams. It's a must win for Liverpool. It's a must not lose for Man City. But even still, I think that City could just be like, you know what, all right, cool. Yeah, we lost, cool. We're going into fifth gear. See you later. We're going to go and win all these games on the bounce. And I just can't see... Liverpool being able to live with it. But in saying that, I don't think this title race is done. I think that there's going to be a lot of teams in and around these teams. As I said, Chelsea ain't really going for the league, but they want to still have high third. And then the top four race. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and the top four race. I wouldn't go into a rele- relegate the relegation battle because against these two teams in particular, they're not going to get anything out of these games. But I think the top four race and Chelsea obviously trying to solidify third, I think those are the teams that could potentially cause problems more so for Liverpool than Man City. I just think the way that Pep's got City playing right now, bro, it's it's just a well-oiled machine, man. It's literally a well-oiled machine. And I think that if City get an injury, you can replace. If Liverpool were to lose Salah, or obviously the just they've just lost Jota. Uh, we don't know how long for. Um, yeah, well, it's not in, confirmed. It's a potential ligament injury, isn't it? But it's not confirmed. Mm. Mm. I think confirmed it. I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Potential ligament. Ooh. Yeah, if he, it is. he um, ankle injury and from the Champions League game. Yeah, no, no, I, no, no, he... I didn't know. I didn't know it was potential ligament. I just thought it was a sprained ankle or something. Well, we yeah. don't know yet. I think he saw, uh, sorry, to die, but uh, go off on a bit of tangent. He saw mm. a specialist today, so they're going to find out, like, well, it's going to come but out it, in the news. As, on in, in, as much as it would be a loss, I think Firmino is already made replacement. And, um, you know, and Firmino has been good, been, been in very good goal scoring form recently. Um, I know he's been going under the radar, but no one actually knows for me. I think he's got like five and seven or something in his last seven games, mm-hmm. and he's been scoring important goals as well. So, yeah, no, Firmino's, he... Firmino's a ready made replacement, man. Yeah, but in saying that, second top goal scorer in the league. No, um, I, I, literally, I'll, say, li- I'll say Jota gets the goals, but I actually think Liverpool play better with Firmino. No, I, I, get that. I get that because Firmino does this. Uh, Firmino being in the team allows Salah and Mane to go and do what 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 they need to mm. do. But I think that Jota with the goals, obviously Salah and Mane were away, and he was still bagging. Yeah. I think that if it's not going well for those three, obviously Diaz is new to the league, so he might take time to bed in. And I think if it's not going Liverpool's way, I don't see how they can change it. I think Jota has a very important role to play in this team. And mm-hmm. if it is ligament damage and he, say, for example, he's out for six weeks to two months, that's a massive. Mm-hmm. That is massive for Liverpool. And that could be make or break in terms of the title race. Not so much in the other trophies that they're in, but in the title race, it could be. Um, but we shall see. Um, final point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you lot in the, on the spot. 
Um, we're gonna. This is. This will be. A, this will. Let's call this the three quarter before we have to make the final decision. Obviously, I think Mr. K and I still had Chelsea. The truth held out on his judgment, but from now, um, K, we'll go to you first. Who at this point in the three quarter point of the league this season, who's winning the league? Oh, right now it has to be City. It has to be City right now. Um, because I don't even remember saying Chelsea, but I said it. So, but now it has to be City. From the position that they're in, yeah. I'm actually gonna go Liverpool because um that's the romantic in you, man. The Peter P- Premier League romantic. <laughs> you know what it is? It was a tyrant. As I said, yeah. I want a t- I want a tyrant, but and I just think if it comes down to who's gonna hold their nerve, I I think Liverpool's passion will overcome the city's machine. Because as I said, I just don't Even. think I just don't think that city can handle the emotion, the emotional side of a title race and the obsession to win the Champions League. I just don't think they can hold out. Liverpool, if they got the Champions League, they're not bothered. They won the Champions League. Like, you know, like, yeah, like even when they're going for it, there's not as much as, yeah, we need to go win the Champions League. While with City, you saw what they did against Sporting. They're so hungry for it. Like, they're more hungry than anything. Lose, when you lose in the final year, <laughs> that next season, you're relentless. Uh, look what Liverpool done after they lost against Real Madrid. They're relentless and um, winning the next season afterwards. Mm. So, but City yeah. had the fixtures though towards the mm-hmm. end of the season. City had the better fixtures by far towards the end of the season. The, the thing about City though, I feel like they could always come. They're always likely to have that run random game like against Southampton. No, but like, yeah. I, like I think I think Liverpool, no matter what, are just going to keep on attacking, and they'll come and start if a team. Just have the same amount of energy for them, but see, you always have one or two games where they've got that that Tottenham performance against them, like the um the first game of the season that they had, or the Southampton game, or they might have another Man United game where it's just Man United backs against the wall, hit them on the counter, and that's it. So yeah, I think see, you have that more in them than Liverpool have towards the end of the season. That's that's a big statement. I, I'm 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 gonna go with Mr. K. I'm back in C. I just I just can't see. I can't see how they get stopped, even if they lose. I think even if they lose one or two, I think Liverpool are still going to lose one or two. So I just can't see how the juggernaut can stop. But I do agree with you. The relentlessness and the obsession um, for the Champions League may be a little distraction, but if City go out and put everyone to bed like they did Sporting the other day, then they're going to have second legs to just put their feet up and chill and focus on the Premier League. So... We should, we'll, we'll find out and see what happens um, with the I'm, title. I'm sick, of, I'm sick of City always getting good draws for their last 16, though. <laughs> Every time. Mm. Now, I, can't, I can't remember. It's either Porting or... Um, Porting. It's either Porto or Sporting or Shakhtar Donetsk. Like, always. 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 It's so always. annoying. But when you got that money, <laughs> 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 you, you, know how to get the, you know how to get the business done, bro. You, you get me? <laughs> Um, but truth, you did mention them. Um, it's what who we're moving on to. Um, the white half of North London, uh, Tottenham Hotspur, because they are playing Man City on the weekend. Um, currently eighth in the league, um, seven points behind uh, fourth place Man United, but they've got three games in hand. Um, Last five games, two wins, three losses. The three losses, obviously, back-to-back losses in the Premier League alone. Um, obviously, losing to Chelsea 2-0, then losing 3-2 in that epic game with Southampton, and then losing 2-0 at home to Wolves as well. Um... <laughs> True. Bro, um... What is going on at Tottenham? Obviously, we know... <laughs> You're both Arsenal fans and you're going to rub it in, but what is going on? Because Conte's come in and don't get me wrong, we all know that Spurs squad is shit. But <laughs> you expected with Conte coming in, he'd at least have them organised. That's, that, that's, that, that's the minimum requirement we would have expected from Conte. But it hasn't happened. What is going on at Tottenham Hotspur right now? No matter how much Cologne, Burberry, Lynx, um, what do you call it, Lavender, whatever you got, 
whatever spray you got, some nice shaw, some dove, dove do some nice spray. No matter how much of that you put on shit, it's never ever gonna smell better. So I don't know why people are surprised. Look, this Tottenham team here, until they win a major trophy, they are cursed. I actually talked, I actually um, spoke to my friend the other day. Um, I remember saying to him, like, Spurs are a cursed club. Someone, some African man, then went there. Ah, uh, why, <laughs> why does he have to be African? <laughs> because you, you know, you guys are into. <laughs> you know, you guys are into. You went there, and then some Arsenal fan. Because I know, I know, there's a huge Nigerian following in um, Arsenal, following Nigeria. Went there and just did some mad thing with Spurs. And until they win that major cu- trophy, they they curse. They curse because no matter what they do. It's just not going to happen for them. As you said, you thought Conte coming in, they'll at least be organised. But then just look at the team and like, these players are actually just cack. Like, they're, they're actually, like, they're actually cack. Like, how, how do you, yeah, you look at um, Tomiyasu and, you, they, and then you say, nah, I'm going to go for Emerson Royale. Like, I don't get it. Like, imagine Eric Dyer is their best defender. That is criminal. <laughs> Eric Dyer is their best defender. Yeah, he's another fridge, bro. It's mad. Doherty, yeah. <laughs> Imagine Doherty is someone that I wanted at Arsenal. At Tottenham, I am so glad <laughs> that he's nowhere near our club. I don't know if he's aging or something because he's an Arsenal fan, but Ryan Sessegnon has not... He's not, not even proof. Not even didn't proof. even know he he's was there. Backwards. <laughs> I he's didn't even backwards. know he was there. Fam, this guy was a huge talent at Fulham. Yeah, he Fulham, yeah. Backwards, oh my days! He doesn't beat play, and then they bring in your boys. I can't wait till the history of Tottenham rubs off on them because what's it? Kulisevsky and um Bentica. These guys are the most average footballers, and I know Spurs fans. I know Spurs fans don't see it because they're doing the simple thing, right? But then as soon as it comes to pressure, they're just gonna be called a flipping another um. Hoiberg or whatever or Skips or we look at it Skips or Wink they don't even sound like footballers that should be playing in the Premier League that is the thing Skips Winks like you'll never ever say oh what a goal from Skip <laughs> you, can think, you can never say these things about Skippy mate not like. about Skippy like that and Winksy <laughs> they did see bro nah fam hey these hey, it wasn't like that kangaroo bro <laughs> yes fam <laughs> fam they, they they need to um these footballers here, when they when they make it to the big time, they need to go and add some like some flavor to their name or something, so it sounds more European or sounds South American. Like, yeah, you can't that, be coming in with Skip and <laughs> Skipadino. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like they can't, you can't be bored with these type of players and think you're gonna get anything. Like this Tottenham team right now, they're shocking. They're shocking. I'll tell you what, the Southampton game, no. Let's go back to the Leicester game because that game they should have lost because mm. that Leicester game, that Leicester team was poor and they were, what, a few minutes. They should have seen out that game. But Tottenham luckily won that game and then, you know, it papered over a lot of the cracks. And then obviously the history of Tottenham against Chelsea, they always get baptised by them. So mm. Chelsea just rolled them over and then, you know, they throw that game away and they're thinking, yes, let's go into the South. Well, it's not even the, it's not even the result. Southampton pump them yeah Southampton pump them and then you're thinking okay Southampton can catch anyone by the sweat on um, by surprise and then Wolves pump them like like they're not getting away with it like their performances are bad and their results are bad you can't have that the second half of the season like for me if they somehow turn it around and get top four I will be surprised I'll be surprised and I let and I let K answer this one I'm looking sternly at Antonio Conte. What are you because, blaming him? No, I'm, I'm. I'm just saying. I'm. Just, I'm giving because I know people are saying it's too early. Or um, he's just come in, but I am looking sternly at Antonio Conte. I want to know your thoughts on. No, nah, I would. I wouldn't blame. I wouldn't blame him. Obviously, he's he's got what he's. He has to work with what he's got, and um, he's a good enough manager to get a better performances out of them. And there's times where you feel, okay, now they're actually stepping up. They're actually going to do something. And then they go, they just revert back to the old Spursy ways. 
and it's like nope. But um, I'm still. He's only. He's only. He's, he's how long has he been there? Not even a full season. So I I can't put the full blame on him. I think when it comes to next season, that's when we can start putting the blame on him. We're seeing what's happening in the media now. Who knows what's the truth? But we do know that Conte likes to be backed. He likes the support from the board. And um, it doesn't seem... Again, it could be narratives being spun by media, but it doesn't seem like he's getting backed. But from this window that we last saw, it's not the calibre of players that he's used to. So... The, the one thing... The reason why I'm looking at Conte, and I, give you, I just wanted to hear your answer, the reason why we need to start looking at him is two things. I've said it before, and I don't know why coaches keep on persisting, but having three or five at the back is not a way to... Um, it's not a, um, it doesn't have longevity in the Premier League. Yeah, it is... It gets slowly and slowly. It gets easier to play against. Remember, his second half is... Uh, was it second season with Chelsea? Second, his second yeah. in it, because he won it in the mm. first season, yeah. Mm. His um, second season with Chelsea, when teams know how to play against you and you don't have the players required to play that formation... It gets found out. Two shows finding out about that. He has to change. He's so rigid in this three or five at the back. And he's rigid in the way they play football. So that's one aspect. But he hasn't the got other the aspect, personnel though. It's like exactly, but to really no, it's true. I agree. change the way that they could play. You can only really work with it. Like I said, he's playing he's been forced to play Dyer at the back. He's only just got Romero back. And Davis um, <laughs> and Sanchez. And Davis and yeah. <laughs> so no, I, but I, okay, fine. I agree. He didn't have the personnel. But, and this is his biggest fault. This is his biggest fault. And if you're a manager, you know this. No matter how shit your team is, yeah, don't tell them their shit. <laughs> no matter how shit your team is. No matter how shit your team is. Sometimes it yeah. works. <laughs> uh, not with these players. Maybe back. No, nah, it, it, it never worked. Back work. in the day, yeah, because, not now. These, these, even, these players even back are too in the way, to... like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta empower your players when you're coming out no, every after press conference <laughs> and you're saying, we you are know, not good enough. <laughs> exactly, you know, you're, you're saying that oh, this, this this team not good enough. There's levels between this. There's one percent chance. Of... <laughs> now it's I like, see. It's like, <laughs> yeah, what I are understand. you saying? Like the players are hearing you. You're coming into the dress for, um dress room saying, "Come on, guys, you can do better than this." And then two, two, two minutes later, you're going and throwing these players in the cat. They're um, never going to reach the level that they're going to reach. Listen, listen, Conte is trying to get out. Yeah, he's trying to he get is. out. He is. He is. He's realised, yeah, these players are so crap that he exactly. can't even organise them. Imagine he can't even get them to hold two bags of four, bro. <laughs> like... Yeah, and he's, he's probably t- sold a dream on Kane as well. And Kane has been doo doo, bro, the whole season. Yeah, he has, he has it's been been so bad. Son as well, bro. Son's been yeah. crap. Bro, they're all around. Tottenham are just crap, bro. They're just, <laughs> like, just crap. I thought that, that was literally it. Like, it's, it's not even no banter. It's literally it's no banter. I'm literally just talking, like, from my heart here. I think Tottenham are just a bowl of. Of of I don't even know like like cow doo doo mixed with with horse doo like they're so rubbish like they stink like Man. their attitude stinks their players stink like their board level st- stinks <laughs> that's why we call their stadium the Tottenham Hot the Toilet <laughs> they just stink all over oh dear and Mr K it wasn't it wasn't helped right by the fact that in the transfer window. <laughs> they, the, everyone, everyone knew what Tottenham's issues were. Yeah. They can't keep clean sheets, and they have no creativity. So what did Tottenham go and do? They go and buy. They go and get a winger and a centre midfielder, and get rid of Deli Ali. Get rid of Endombele. Get rid of Lacelso, and bring in Kulisewski and Bentancourt. <sighs> first, 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 can I ask a question as a Juve fan? How much of how much did these guys even play for Juve? They they, they, they were bench players. Benton Benton Core is an average footballer, bruv. He's so average. Like he's average. Kulisevsky is actually a decent young talent. He just needs time. I think 
He's not going to be yeah. a world beater. He's not on the levels like Chiesa and all that man there. Yeah. But he can, he, can, he if he was a little bit older, he probably could do a job at Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. But at this moment, in, at this point in time, Juve were like, here, have them. Let them get some experience. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Juve were basically saying. They saying it's hell. the history of Tottenham. Tottenham were like, <laughs> so I'm going to send, send, send these young dudes <laughs> On loan to get some experience. <laughs> like you know when you know when like United obviously Arsenal send them to the championship. That's what you basically <laughs> use in Tottenham for, bro. Period. I mean it's awful. But um okay, can you explain to me why in the two areas, defensively and creatively, you didn't get anybody in and you got rid of all your creative midfielders? Can you explain the logic behind that? What I know you're an Arsenal fan, but just watching football, can you find a logical reason why you would get rid of your creativity and not strengthen your defence when you're leaking goals more than Gal leak on their periods, bruv? Like, just, just explain it to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain man I can't explain that last comment right there bro. <laughs> I can't explain that last comment Wait, they might forget about my comments from earlier on after that <laughs> <laughs> um, but no even I can't even explain the Tottenham situation and um, what Conte is doing what the board are doing maybe you're right he's trying to set himself up for when he went to his exit who yeah. knows um, that second season's coming early. That was no, that third season. Conte is coming early. Who knows? Um, honestly, I don't know because Arsenal didn't have the best transfer window, so I can't really talk that much because they did some confusing things. But Tottenham's one was even even because even worse probably because like you said, imagine that they got rid of all these um, creative players. Yeah, or even that semi decent creative players, and then just kept bland players like they didn't really strengthen in the key areas as we kind of touched man on, said he didn't know. want no seasoning bro just straight salt and pepper in <laughs> exactly <laughs> freaking yeah, out he could, be clear, he could be trying to clear the way maybe he's already written off this season he's trying to clear the uh, space conte. for but you don't you don't give conte an 18 month contract here and then you'd be like oh this is for the future <laughs> like what is going what is going on at this club like like as, ba- as bad as we are, it's, it's like, I always say to myself, like, like every time I'm angry, I'm, I'd be like, you know what? At least we're not Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always say that. And it helps me feel a little bit better. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. So, so, realistically, guys, like, <clears throat> it's the lot of this. Obviously, they got City next. Um, they haven't won away in Etihad since 2016. Um, where are Tottenham finishing this season? Boy, I'm not going to lie, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually go finish mid-table 8, 9 or, eight, nine yeah, or no, 10. Yeah, no, it's the same. Because look, I, I think right now Wolves are better than them. Yeah. Well, they proved I think, it. I think, I think if Brighton go play this, this Tottenham side, Brighton play them off the park. Um... Who else? Who's the else about the thing? Everton could be resurgent. West Ham are up there as well. You know, I, 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 but I think Tottenham aren't better than all. The joke is here, they've actually got two world-class players. Mm. Like, and that's more than we have, to be honest. That's more than um, West Ham have. That's more than, you know, Wolves, uh, Brighton have. But, like, the rest of the team is just so far below average, and that's the difference. And Kane don't want to be there. Son is regretting it. <laughs> he signed a new deal in the summer. Yeah, I know, he's about to say. Deal, like, he's feeling. I'm telling you, he's feeling. He's feeling trapped right now. He's like, he, instead of instead of South Korean, he's feeling North Korean, fam. He's like, he, he wants to get out. <laughs> he's feeling North Korean in there. So, but it's his fault though. I'm I'm sick and tired of these players signing these big contracts and getting trapped in these clubs that don't really share their same ambition. So, you know, I've got no remorse for him. But yeah, yeah. man, no, I would. I wouldn't be surprised if Tottenham finished eighth or ninth this season. I wouldn't be either. <laughs> I still think they've got a part to play in the top four race. Um, I don't think they're going to finish in the fourth, but I think they've still got a part to play. Um, I still believe they've got enough quality to, 
finish ahead of Wolves, but I can't see them finishing ahead of the other three teams above them. Um, I'm, I'm saying it right now. If if they ever finish above us this season, I think I think I might quit football. <laughs> I might I might quit football. You're not that they're, far off, man. Bro, they're, listen, no. football's got stranger. There's stranger things in football, bro. I know, but but there's only uh, three points between us. I understand they got for me. I feel they have better players, but their team is cack. At the end of the day, it's about your team, and at the moment, our team is better than their team. Um, but as I said, they do have Kane and they do have Son. But I'll be upset if those two alone is enough to finish on top of us. Uh, if we if we finish below Spurs here, that means we're finishing ninth or tenth. <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. So, yeah. Well, 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 we're going to find out what happens to Tottenham Hotspur and, and, and where they finish. And um, finally, before we go into Prem predictions, uh, we are quickly going to touch on the almighty performance that we saw. Imagine that it was a week ago that the Ars put in a fantastic performance against their top four rivals in Wolverhampton. The Wanderers down to 10 men battling the elements Hellfire and Brimstone and came out with a 1-0 victory, which propelled them back into the top three race. Um, since then, United have dropped points, West Ham have dropped points, obviously Spurs we touched on, Wolves dropped points, and now Arsenal find themselves in a fantastic position, four points off top four with three games in hand. Mr. K.A., the performance that we saw from Arsenal against Wolves, did that typify the solidarity that we are going to see in future games for Arsenal? Bearing in mind, everyone has tried to write Arsenal off, basically saying Abba's gone, uh, where are the goals going to come from? Is, is, this, is this the Arsenal that we're going to see determined, try, uh, uh, battling against the elements and Arte with Arteta at the helm? Hard, it's, honest, it's quite hard to know if Arsenal are going to be able to put a consistent finish, um, consistent run towards the end of the season. I think it, it's going to be tricky because our games in hands are also not easy games. They're against Chelsea, they're against Liverpool and Spurs. So they're all um, two Wolves. London derbies and, and Liverpool. So it's not going to be easy. And... Um, we just don't know because, again, Arsenal are a bit like Spurs and Man United where it's like you can put together decent games, but there's always that one moment that they have in there that you just know it's going to be a shocker and it's just going to cost you. Um, whether it's our fault or not, but like we nearly blew it against Wolves with Martinelli, even though it wasn't his... That's a whole other thing. Fault. That's it a whole other cool. conversation, but um, <laughs> that like thing, just these things just always happen. Party comes back from Africa and he gets sent off like the guy's jet lagged. Then he, you're <laughs> <afraid. laughs> you know, like, surely, surely the referee should have been like, like, come on, this guy come up three hours ago. Just let him, it's the end of the game, just let it go. <laughs> oh, straight, Carl's gonna get sent off like then Jack will do something stupid. Or oh, I know it's just Arsenal have it in them where. Or even not even that, not even the red cards, where it's just chances that we don't take. It's just we don't put some. We don't always put together that night. Every once in a while, we do have those performances, but we 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 not we don't make it easy for ourselves. So yeah. it's hard to say um, whether we can um, get top four. I still think it's possible. I do feel like I would not be surprised. Um, I still stand by what I said at the beginning of the season. Like I still believe all season that he can, that we can, not Arteta can, but as a team, if we do the right things, there's no reason why we can't get top four. And I still think that's the case. Nah, 100. And, and, and you, you should have confidence. I mean, truth, when you do, obviously, again, the, the, the games in hands are hard though, man. They're tough the, 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 games, the games in our hand are tough. They, they are tough, no doubt about it. But um, truth, when you just look, it is 1-0, but you were down to 10 men. But at no point in that game did... Because I watched the whole game, obviously, the misses being an Arsenal fan. At, at no point in that game when I was watching it that I feel like you lot were in trouble. I think that defensively, I think you lot were fantastic. I think that it was solid. Wolves didn't really create anything clear-cut. 
and obviously you got the goal. Is it? But this is why I'm saying: is it going to be now that Arsenal are just going to do it off the base of being solid at the back, um, resilient in midfield, and then hopefully their attacking options can get them the goals because we know that I, I don't think we're ever going to um, in, in the games we're never going to see Arsenal score four five six um, oh. unless it's against someone absolutely awful or, or someone's down to 10 men but can you continuously do the one nil two nil two one sort of um, results to propel you to that top four it's kind of mad because my initial answer is no, because as you know, as a coach myself, I like being on the front foot. Um, for me, at the second half of the season, there needs to be more of a focus on just scoring goals and ending games as quick as possible. You do not want to be drawn out into long wards of attrition and get into tight games. I think there's too much emotional strain having to hold on to slender leads or having to hold on to, to nil nils, so I would like. I think the team that's going to finish fourth is a team that can score more goals, score the most amount of goals, and score them with a lot more ease. And this is why I don't think, um, even though we're there or thereabouts, at the end of the day, I am not confident on top four at all. As Ka fully said, those games in hand are against Wolves, Liverpool. Is it Liverpool? It's not against Chelsea, Liverpool. Chelsea, Chelsea, no. Chelsea, Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea, 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 and Spurs. Wolves, Chelsea, and Spurs. So those are. We said Wolves again. Yeah. It's Chelsea, Liverpool, and Spurs. Huh? We just played Chelsea, Wolves. Chelsea, Liverpool. We play Wolves again. Yeah, you play Wolves. Yeah, Wolves again but it's, like it's, not, it's, weeks. it's not. It's not our game like, in hand. Yeah, it's not a game in hand. It's not a game in hand. Your yeah, games in hand are Chelsea, Liverpool, and Spurs. Okay, okay. Yeah, wait. Wasn't wasn't the isn't the one next week the rearranged game though? Nah. Now nah, your 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 game next on, on Thursday is against Wolves again. Yeah, but it's not a rearrange. No, it's not. It's because nah. oh, you lot are yeah. in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So th- those are not easy games. Like Wolves are going to want to come on us to and turf and beat us um, badly. Chelsea is not going to be an easy game. I suppose at Stamford Bridge as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, the it's it's not a nice set of games. If we can somehow get through these games and still be in touch, I feel a little bit more confident. But I just think United have the firepower to just shit house their way to top four. Mm. I think they have the firepower. We don't have that firepower. So, you know, <laughs> look at that miss like as it had against our moves. Oh, I was so oh, mate. Oh, gosh. Oh, that, that, mate. Piss me off, bro, mate. <laughs> And that that that's that's what made me that was what made me believe that we're not going to get top four. I was thinking about that, that when you were talking about. It, I was like in my head, I was in my head. That, that like, miss, I said to myself, <laughs> no, nope, we're not getting top four because it's as I said, it's not about performances no more. You just have to put away your chances, beat team, go home, you know, be happy. But but when you analyze though, look, I'm just looking at the top four list. West Ham, Man United in fourth. We know how yeah. Man United play. We've talked about that enough. West Ham, Antonio is not scoring goals. They're relying on Bowen beasting every week and, and maybe Declan Rice putting them on putting them on his back, being yeah. a passion merchant. Um, then we've got Wolves. Wolves are good defensively, but in attack, cool. they're not, they don't really score goals. Yeah. Then we've got Spurs. So it's like it's as you talked about, who wants it more? But to be honest, it's not really big competition for nope. four because each team has their deficiencies. Exactly, exactly. This is why it's it's anyone's game when it comes hmm. to 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 the top four. Okay, quickly. Um, if Arteta gets fourth, does he stay? <laughs> <laughs> that is the million dollar question, mate. It's the million dollar question. I mean, obviously, no trophies, but if he gets fourth, <clears throat> does he stay? I think. If an opportunity comes and there is a manager or we see um, someone with better potential than Arteta, then we then we take it, we grab it with two hands. If, if um, I don't even know yet what manager would come to us or what manager would become available that is, that is um, sort of like feasible and we can actually see them coming to us. Um, Maybe we nab a grave, grave um, Potter <laughs> or something <laughs> like, because <laughs> like that's that's just give him like that's another level up for him. 
Yeah. Uh, and then just say, let him use this as as, as training wheels or something. <laughs> <laughs> let him use us where where there's no real hope for him. It's not like a big because people talking about him from Man United. No, and yeah, like, no, no, no. I've heard a few. No. Really? No. So I think no. I think that might be too big of a step from Brian to Man United. Yeah. So go from oh, go to Arsenal. Hey, you could do much worse than Graham Potter, man. I, really I know we can, but no. no, you can do much worse. But it, it'd be too big of a step. It's it'd only be, two. There's only two people, and that's it. What Ten Hag and um, it's Ten Hag and Potch. Potch. That's it. Stop saying Potch. Stop saying Potch. Listen. Um, <laughs> Because yeah, what, Potter I, could be another Ole if he take this might be too big of a no, step. No, no, no. Not in terms of like the performances, but I mean like the step up, like it might be too big what, of a Potter? step. Yeah. Nah, Potter, bro, this Potter, Potter will do a better job than Ole. He'll do a better, better job, but I mean like it might be too big of a step. Nah, I, I hear that, but you lot could find yourselves in an Ole situation where because Arteta gets fourth, the board would be like, yep, bought us back Champions League football, you deserve another new deal. A Look, six year I'm, deal. I'm gonna I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna backtrack a bit. I'm gonna backtrack a bit because I had an epiphany the other day. I'm not gonna lie, I had an epiphany. I was thinking about it and I said, you know what? From a football point of view, let me put my hatred aside. And I thought about it and I said, What if Arteta is actually right and we have to get rid of all the people going one way? So we can have a squad of players going the other way or everyone going in the same direction. But then why did we keep and, Xhaka then? Huh? But why he, did we, like, at the time from, when from, we did? From reports, we're Roma going to sell him. Maybe there's no one else to come in. And to be honest, I kind of agree with him because at the end of the day, we need to have a team that all believe in the same thing. Um, look at Man City and Liverpool. Not one of those players in both of those squads do not fully believe in Pep or Klopp. Like regardless, they all believe in the same way of football. They all they all know what to do. We can't have players that don't know or don't share that belief in our squad because even one player just ruins a bunch. For example, Chelsea. I think one of the reasons that they've had the best season because not all of their players are pushing in the same direction. Mm-hmm. They've got your Lukaku's, you've got Pulisic um, complaining about playing their position. Habits can't be happy. Werner's dog shit. Um, Alonso is is cack. Like so, when you don't have all those players put in the same direction, this is what happens. No, no greater team to, to share the example than Man United. You got players going everywhere, <clears throat> every <throat> different place. That Up team, down, like, left, it's a right, mess. diagonal. Bro, exactly. Some so, players are going to Portugal, others are going to England. Like it don't make no sense. So for me, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I'm coming round to the idea that even if Arteta doesn't get top four, he might be allowed to stay for one season for me. Just so. Ooh. I know, I know, I know. It's, look, for me, okay, Arteta man, for me. Arteta you're right. in. Someone, no, no, someone no, no, going no, no. through this guy's Arteta. forehead, man. You're now, right. listen, listen, now, listen, listen. I do not think Arteta is the guy to do Being the modest. job that he's doing. I don't think he's the guy to do the job that he's doing. I think we could get a better coach in. But... I don't, I don't disbelieve in his method because I've, I've seen it at youth football. If you do not have all your 25 full squad, yeah, doing exactly what the manager wants and doing exactly what the team is about, you're going to get... And all it takes is one. Mm-hmm. All it takes is one player to be like, oh, you know, I can't be bothered to press today or I can't be bothered or I'm feeling a little bit of niggle in my little toe. I can't be bothered to play today. And then it just spreads. So maybe Arteta just needs that squad where everyone's being like, yep, we're going to play under Arteta. We're going to do this. Any player not following his rules, we're going to shun that player or we're going to talk to him ourselves. And so, as I said, maybe I'm coming around to the idea. Let him complete his project after three years. But but after next year, if he has all of his players and he's still not achieving nothing, then he would definitely have to go. Well, let's hope we can get some of that Super Bowl money from the Gronkers, mate. Right, I want that money. That's big money now. I think it, I think it was the biggest selling this year, the Super Bowl, the amount of money it generated this year. Like, ridiculous well, it's always going to be the biggest because it's the it's the sort of national final. But no, yeah. I think it was the biggest sport in like NFL. Oh, event, biggest like, sport. Yeah, um, that's ever because that's because that's everyone will tune in to watch the halftime show, bro. Yeah, that's true. So the halftime show generated. Just generated loads of income for them, man. Oh, they right, spent right. loads on it, though. 
Uh, listen, 50 Cent looking like Mark Henry, bro, hanging down from the... <laughs> Have you seen that uh, picture where it's got the 50 Cent from the In The Club video and you yeah. turn the phone upside down and it's got the thing <laughs> from the thing? And when you oh, actually look at him man. upside down, he doesn't even look that big. When you turn it around and you see the difference, oh, it's like, oh, my dear. <laughs> I try to post it to the group. It's, it's so bad. Hey, 450. Hey. Money's good, man. Man, bro, I'm telling you, money's bro. He's good. Eating no, well, bro. bro. Yeah, he committed, man. He's he's eating well. He was bro. out of breath, eating. and he was just like, <laughs> "Dang, <Dan's> on <older. laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> man, but uh, yeah, people, you had it here first. The truth is, Arteta in. He is saying, "I'm that not Arteta, 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 Arteta in." I, I still think we tr- need to to get that that your flow out for him, man. You know, this guy <laughs> might be a bit delirious. <laughs> I'm not the saying that. I'm told you. I had an he said it here first. Arsenal for the Premier League next season. That you heard it here, exclusive. Yeah, definitely. If if no title, then he's not staying. Do you know what <laughs> joke of it is? I could see him getting fourth, but then half come Christmas, we'll get. A, it'll be too big for him, and then he'll get a manager because like he's, he's one of the ones where do a Chelsea. I, but, You've got us there. If he's not big enough, if he's not good enough um, to get us to the next level, then you shouldn't be there. But let it, let him get it, give us a chance to get us to that next level anyway. Exactly. Wow. He'll get Champions Even League and then saying give him a chance as well. Oh. Uh, he'll he'll get there, get get to the Champions League, bro, and be losing to Bodak Yellow like Celtic. Bro, bro. <laughs> 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 um, uh, True uh, time for um, predictions. Um, yo, you guys are gonna have to do it. You know? I don't even have my laptop. I don't even know what the fixtures are, to be honest. Like, this, I've this got is the fixtures a... in front of me. Okay, he's got so, the fixtures up, bruv, so you can. KA would have it, bro, because he's been itching to take a role, bro. <laughs> what, what, what role, man? I'm yeah, just, K, I'm, I always K, have it up it. every week. I have it up in front of me because let's, uh, let's just go over this. Let's just go over this. Um, that like KA one, bro, one. It's, like a, it's like a week and a half ago, week and a half ago, finally, after how many years. Like you won. Um, I won this week somehow, guys. I'm not going to lie. It was a snatch and grab. <laughs> it was a smash and grab victory, but I'll take it. Um, so that puts me one ahead of TJ. TJ is still in second place. KA has consolidated his third place because ST was breathing down his neck. Um, let's go on to this week. Okay, so first game, Arsenal, Brentford. Arsenal at home, three o'clock kickoff. I'm gonna go with TJ first. You're at the top of my screen. Your results, your predictions. Sorry. Oh, who's noting this down? Am I noting this down as well? I... You don't need to. Oh, like, you just go back. Okay. And... Okay. Um, cool. 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 I'm oh, you can note go... down if you want. I'm gonna uh, go. I'd have to type it out, so it's fine. Don't worry. I'll write it down. Oh, you got it. I was gonna. Um, I'm gonna go. To Neil Arsenal. Oof, that's gonna cause that. Yeah, that was. I was thinking that as well. Wendell. Um, I don't know who. I don't know who that name is, but. <laughs> I know you've been saying the it, truth all this time around the car. Like, it, we just stop here. <laughs> so, um, the truth. What do you think your um predictions are gonna be for this? Do you, what do you think of prediction? What kind of English is that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you I think was, your predictions are gonna be? I just, I was just trying to say something. Guys, to like, <laughs> I, because of what oh, happened. I'm gonna go to one. Do you do we even score more than one? I'm gonna go one in Arsenal. Well, that leaves me with three nil. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't see, I don't really see Brentford scoring. Um, because we've we've got a good defense at the moment. Touchwood, and all that famous last word. So I'm, um, yeah, I'm gonna go three 0 Really? You guys Ooh. have taken two two nil one nil. I think we will win the game. So that's the only score left. Um. So the next game is Chelsea away to Crystal Palace. Um, I'll start off with that one. I uh, I think that will be. I think Crystal Palace being at home, I think they can surprise us, um, and I think they they could win this two one. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going for Ooh. a Palace win. 
you're going left field like me. I was going to go 1 1. I was thinking 1 1 as well, but I'm giving the Palace a win being at home. I think Ooh, it. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, when they're wet, you're going for 1 so okay. You did it again. Oh, my <laughs> day. Truth. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 1 1. Truth. You're going for 1 1. Yeah, 1 1. Mr. TJ, your predictions for Crystal Palace and Chelsea. I'm going to go 2-1 uh, Chelsea. Okay. Okay, 2-1 Now Chelsea. you know I'm changing my scoreline. I'm changing my scoreline. I just had a, just had a feeling. I, was, I wasn't happy with 1-1. One, one. I said it, but I didn't believe it. I'm going to go 3-0 Chelsea. Whoa, that is a different... As I know, I know. From I, one I, side to the other. I wasn't, I wasn't convinced that... Uh, and look at Palace go get a result now. But, but I'm going to go 3-0 Chelsea. Chelsea coming back That's on a high Chelsea. from their club world championship trophy. Yeah. Smacking up Crystal Palace. Okay, so the next game is Liverpool versus Norwich. Liverpool are the home team. Three o'clock kickoff Saturday. What's up? What's the scorelines, people? Truth. Um, it's a mad one. Because it's Norwich. Everyone, everyone's just getting out there, there <laughs> calculating for how much it could be. <laughs> getting out there abacuses. Uh, are they going to get battered again two games in a row? I'm going to go modest. 2-0 Liverpool. I don't think they do what Man City did. Okay. 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 Mr. TJ. 4-0 Liverpool. 4-0. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take 3-0 Liverpool. I think... Um, yeah, I don't, it's hard to see um, Norwich scoring, so I think I agree with you all there. Um, but yeah, 3-0. The next game is Saturday Night Football, broadcast on TV, Man City versus Tottenham Hotspurs. Saturday City night. are the home team. Can Tottenham Hotspurs put together a performance after three losses? I will start and say 2-1 Man City. TJ. TJ. It is a hard one because Tottenham do like playing against City on occasion. Mm, I'm going to go 3-1 City. Truth. Mm, I'm going to go 3-0 City. I think um, City didn't break a sweat midweek and I think they're just going to they're going to be so up for this game because Tottenham beat them at the opening thing of the season and then Tottenham was celebrating like they won the won the Champions League or something <laughs> when they won the opening game. So I think they're just going to smack it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's four, but I'm just going to be three. I'm just going to say three now. What was your um, predictions, TJ? Three one. Three one. And you say, so you don't think Spurs are going to score truth? No. Okay, okay, okay. So we're on to Sunday now. Two o'clock kickoff, Leeds United at home, Manchester United away. Ooh, Leeds and I love that game. It's it could be an entertaining game if Man United turn up. Um who wants anyone want any volunteers of going first to a scoreline? These predictions. Two yeah. one Leeds. <laughs> Dan James, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, is he alone or is he been sold? No, we sold him. So he can play, oh, yeah. Dan James, right? he's, been, he's got a couple of goals lately. He's got a couple this of goals coming for you guys. Nah, um, Playing that um, false nine. Uh, two, 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 two. No two. way, no way. This is a United win. Desmond no. two, two, bro. Not the not the way how Ragnick wants us to play. If it was this, still probably the only game where if it was an Oli way of playing, I'd be confident we win. But the way how Ragnick wants us to play, it suits Leeds rather than us sitting back and playing on the counter. So I think it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Um, it's a tough one. I don't see Leeds winning this game. And it's a They've derby as well. Goals. They've been shipping goals. Unless Leeds could get the passion that, you know, that it's a Leeds versus United, which I don't think their players have. I think United win this easy. I say 3-1 United. I consider the 3-1 scoreline, but I'm going to go for 2-1 United. 
easy three points. Yep, and um, I think that is it. We could talk about the um, other top four battles. We've got no. Wolverhampton City. I'm just we said, saying. See, we said see, people, see, people, this is this, this is why Mr. K doesn't get homes. Were you, were you I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I haven't, did I call them? I said we could. I'm not going to say. No, we already <laughs> mentioned. No, group. we've got. We, no, no. We, we, I said it. Nah, to be fair, to be fair, people, it's not Mr. K's fault. Um, K, we're doing the um, the midweek. <laughs> Um, for next week as well. Yeah. Um, oh, are we? So, yeah. yeah. Trust, so, yeah. if you got if you got that, off, go for it. If you got so that, Arsenal, or, or, what was that, Chief? It's Arsenal, the Arsenal Wolves, and Liverpool Leeds, Leeds and Burnley Spurs. Oh, Burnley Spurs as well. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. Wednesday we got Burnley versus Spurs. Um, I start. I'm going for two nil, Spurs. Hmm. I honestly thought he was going to say 2 0 Burnley, you know. I genuinely thought I would I'd no, I'm, write I'm it down go, as well. I'm going for 2 0 Spurs. Mm. Shit, I'm the wrong person's team. I'm going. Who did Burnley have on the weekend? Uh, I can't remember. Um, hold on. Let me see. Who do they have? I can't... Oh, they have Brighton. Away there, away to Brighton. Away to Brighton. Are they going to affect their Spurs game? <laughs> if, I no, Burnley, the Spurs game is... if I do a Burnley, like, oh, let, let's rest players for the Brighton game. For the Spurs game. <laughs> let, 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 let's, let's rest some players for they the Spurs game. can't afford to. They're in a relegation battle. I know, but that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're like, look, we can't get nothing from Brighton. Let's just save all our I mean, players. For yeah, the, no, the, the Burnley game is on Saturday, and then the Spurs game against Brighton's on Saturday, and then the Spurs one is on a Wednesday. So they got enough nah, players. Enough time. To... Yeah, enough time. Um, that's a hard one. I'm go. I'm actually gonna go one nil. I'm gonna go one one. Let's be safe. One one. TJ. I'm gonna go two two. You guys really see Burnley scoring. Who's going for Burnley? I, I well, see Red Burnley Horse. winning. Man like Red Horse. Horse. Red Horse, bro. I find this, sh- doesn't this guy have a potential injury? Is he going to play? Uh, I don't know. Bro, it doesn't even matter. It's just how bad Spurs are. We don't even care what team they were playing. They could be playing both. Man like Corney, bro. One man like Corney and Jay Rodriguez still picking ball, banging Corny balls. needs to move, you know. That guy's too sick to be in part of that. <laughs> part of flipping Brexit. TJ's Ivory Coast, man them. <laughs> All right, the next game is Watford. I'm joking. Liverpool leads. I'll okay. go first, and I will say, I want to say three no, but I feel like the mighty Dan James might nick one. <laughs> I'm going to go 3 1. Yeah, entertaining 3 1. But Liverpool have to be, there'll be too much for them. Um, truth. I'm going to go high scoring 4 2 for Liverpool. High scoring open game of football. TJ. 4 1. 2 who? Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> Okay, and I think... Oh, no, sorry. One more game. Arsenal, Arsenal. versus Wolverhampton. Well, there's games all week. There's a game on Friday as well. And then on... We've got a whole week of football next week, you know? Wow. <laughs> Good. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, Arsenal, Wolves, I go... For, damn, actually, now nah, TJ. TJ, go. Come back yeah, to me. Yeah, I was going to go TJ first. <laughs> you think of it, you're, you're next, Truth. 2-1, Two, yeah. Arsenal. Um, one one, one one. Okay, I'm gonna go for one nil Arsenal. Mm, I think it's gonna be a very tight game. Imagine, imagine, tight game. imagine, imagine really defense. No, I can't see anyone Arsenal battering teams. To be honest, the, the thing I'm not, I'm not scared of Wolves because losing Triori just got rid of all of their fear for me because it was just a thought of. Him on the bench, bring him on at the seventieth minute. 
no one can go forward because that guy's just running in, even though his final ball is cack. It's just a threat. Well, he's doing okay for. I haven't seen anything, but Hardy's doing all right for Barca at the moment. I haven't seen him play. I don't even know if he's playing. I haven't seen, but someone said that he's doing all right. I don't know. Um, I've, who I've, played well the other day? Marshall. I know Marshall played well the other day. I think he got two assists. <laughs> well, that's it, people. We're done with the predictions for this week. We shall see who will. You're gonna say something. I'm back. No, I'm waiting for you to finish. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So we will see who will win I'm this back. week. I'm back. I'm finishing this off, man. I'm. I can't believe I let TJ catch up. I was like six ahead of him, man. <laughs> It's a faggy time, brother. As I always <laughs> say. Um, but people, uh, let us know what you think in the comment section. Let you let us know what you think of the title race. Is it going to be Man City? Is it going to be Liverpool? Um, let us know what you think about Tottenham. <laughs> what do you think of Tottenham? <laughs> <laughs> but let us know what you really think of Tottenham. Um, and Antonio Conte, is he trying to find his way out? Will Tottenham finish in the top four? Uh, Tottenham, is it just the history of Tottenham? Are they just destined for failure? Um, <laughs> let us know what you think about Arsenal and the truth finally saying that he's Arteta in. He said can you, that Arteta can you start misquoting me, please? Hey, mate, that's, that's the the can you start misquoting me, please? Next, that's the preview for the, for the, for the video, bro. <laughs> can you the start misquoting me? The sound bite. I'm getting bro. misquoted here, this guy. <laughs> yeah, people, so are you on the bandwagon with the truth? He's Gassi finally succumbed <laughs> to the fact that Arteta is the man to lead Arsenal back to glory. He is saying um, 2003, four, is it? Yeah, 2003, four, the undefeated streak that whoa, is what whoa. the truth is saying. <laughs> whoa. Rolling back the years <laughs> with Xhaka. That is what the truth <laughs> That is what the oh, truth man. is saying for Arsenal and um, people. I'm starting get injun- I'm starting getting injunctions put out like this is fake <laughs> news. Like no, what, no wonder Trump hates you guys. Like just fake news. That like, man guys, saying one thing, you guys are turning it into another. I said you guys, you know. <laughs> poor, poor, poor Trump said that. Oh, okay, Kanye. <laughs> poor Trump said he just likes to go out with girls, and then the newspaper said he likes to grab pussy. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, man, you guys love to just just this. <laughs> Boy, you heard it here first. You saw it. He can't take it back. The truth is Arteta in. He's got the scarf. He's got the banners. You're going to see them at the Emirates very, very soon. Um, but people, and as usual, people, before we go, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Get the likes up, subscriptions up, all that good stuff. Share, share, share. As I say all the time, we are here. And don't forget to join our social media pages as well. Links are in the description. I um, want to say thank you very much for a very entertaining body from my guys, The Truth and Mr. K.A. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, people, listen, 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 listen to, to me very, very clearly, people. I just uh, don't even say it, man. Let's, I, let's I, am it it is, <laughs> I am saying it because it is. I am saying it. When it happens, it happens, man. Boxing Talk will be coming with the definitely be a review of um yeah. khan versus brooke as i, I said st has fixed the vagine internet and he will be back with us and people i said it and it will happen before the players go back to basketball on wednesday nba talk will happen but it's also this weekend yeah it starts this weekend Freaking, I didn't. So that means so, so people, know, look at this guy. Right this guy's putting out some big statements. It will happen <laughs> in a week. Right. Right now, it hasn't happened right for how many months? I am saying, you see me saying this to Mr. K8 and the truth. Monday the or Tuesday, when is NBA planned. talk? Well, Monday, Monday, Monday. 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 I can't do well, I can't do Monday. So, so, I so I it's Tuesday then. <laughs> I can't do Tuesday. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I could do both, but Tuesday's my, Tuesday's my, my long day. Tuesday, Thursday is my long day. I thought he was about to say Tuesday is my date night. It's like, <laughs> it's this guy, it's, it's be cooking and stuff like that. Nah, well, man, if people, you day. heard it, KA said, so we're looking at Tuesday, it will happen. We need to do it before the season comes back or it's never going to happen, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so it will happen. So right? I'm a listic, bro. This guy said, I'm a listic. Stuff people, like. if it doesn't happen, you saw it here. You saw the reason why. I've said it. Nah, I put hey, it out need there. To, hey, need don't, don't, don't try that. Don't try that. You've got a deadline. <laughs> We got a deadline. We actually need to keep to the deadline because after All Star Weekend, like it's pointless. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it has to be done. It has to be done. Nah, there's still opportunities, man. There's opportunities. We can just start from the playoffs. 
<laughs> it's too late. We have to predict the playoffs before then, like. But people know you, you heard me. You heard me say it. You heard me say it. I, I leave it in the hands of God now to, to see what happens. Um, uh, but people, stay safe out there. Be safe, and we shall see you very, very soon. Peace. Peace.